Welcome everyone to the Relentless Undead, I'm your host, Robert. <clears throat> and today I'm going to be playing Fable 3. The reason I'm playing Fable 3 is because the people that have subscribed to me on Twitch got to pick a game, and then it was voted on on my community Discord, and this one was chosen. If you would like to check me out on YouTube and on Twitch, you can. I uh, go by the username The Relentless Undead on both. Also, if you want to, you can join that community Discord. It should be linked below. So, I have played this game before. I have most of the achievements for the game. I do not know if it's going to kick me in. And so, um, our story begins. The kingdom is on the verge of revolution, but who will be the hero to lead the rebellion? Yeah, <clears throat> I was about to actually bring that up. <clears throat> I don't think I ever imported my game save from my 360, so I probably have to start again anyway. I wasn't quite sure if it had imported and if it was going to be a one save thing. But luckily, um, this worked out my favor. Put subtitles on so you guys can see that. I'll lower music a little bit. Lower sounds a little bit. The kingdom Quick. is doomed. Oh yeah. Obviously, we'll play a prince. Of course, the prince. It is time you saw what your kingdom is truly like. I do actually have goals to play with Cammy at one point. Oh, so it does. I does say I'm playing that. I'll switch that. Apparently, did not register when I come to Albion. Down three. Thanks, Cam. Though some call it the age of oppression. When freedom is nothing but a dream. Chicken kicker! To make a stand. To lead a rebellion. To be a hero. Gotcha. Welcome to the city of the downtrodden. Oh, I definitely got the nickname Chicken Kicker now. Where those who dare to speak out are punished. And those who dare to hope find nothing to hope for. Fight against all odds. True rebels never give up. Yet they cannot triumph alone. The uprising has begun. But who will lead the revolution? Oh, 
What a dreadfully sorry sight. Such a beautiful day to waste in bed, don't you agree? Uh, what? Oh, go away, Jasper. Now, that is hardly the response of a prince. I'm afraid it is time to rise. With your permission, I shall wake your sleeping companion. Ah, yes, one's heart soars before such regal bearing. I trust you both slept well. You have a busy day ahead. Come on, boy. If I have to get up, so do you. It's not going to work. Don't look at me like that. Oh, very well. Good dog. What a pair. The kingdom is doomed. <clears throat> I forgot that this game you got a dog. Okay. Before I go any further, let me check the achievements with you guys. That I need to get because that will drastically change my gameplay style. Okay, unlock that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, You're taking your first step towards becoming, uh, towards oh wow, brain did not read any of that properly. You've taken your first steps towards gathering a rebel force to stand against your brother. I didn't even know I had a brother. Major Shift and his men have joined your cause. Is this like endgame stuff I just never accomplished? This all sounds like kind of like a mission. Uh... Weird. Yeah, I guess I never actually completed the game. Yeah, I guess I never actually completed the game. Huh. Quickly just see if there's anything that's... Yeah, eventually I'll do that one with Tammy. Have a child with Tammy and get a business deal with Tammy. And marry her. I could have swore when I looked at this online. There's a lot less achievements I need for this game. But. <clears throat> okay. I'll just play it normally. Now, sir, if you will follow me, perhaps we can find some appropriate clothing for today's activity. Like, Lady Elise is most eager to speak to you this morning and is waiting for you in the garden. Yep. No doubt you will wish to look your best for your young friend. Sure. I have taken the liberty of arranging two suitable outfits, if you would care to choose. Okay. Lady Elise is a delightful girl, but I don't believe your pajamas will do much to impress her. Notice the fine stitching, the delight... Ah, spirit. Splendid choice. I'm sure Lady Elise will approve. Perhaps you ought to make your way to her now. And I would recommend avoiding your brother today. King Logan is rumored to be in an ill temper. Yeah, well, uh, my brother can sh shove a turn up his ass. Have a good day, sir. Will do. Thanks. Bye, Jasper. Prince. 
Okay. Do, 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 do. Hello, Prince. Uh, hi. Can I actually talk to you? Yeah, oh, yeah, I can interact with you. Can I be of service, my lord? My lord. Ah, all right. <laughs> oh, See you again soon. That'll be nice. Shake his hand. My Lord. Shake your hand too. Oh. <laughs> Howdy. Oh, oh. hi. Oh. 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 Believe what Logan's done. I just can't believe it. Damn, you looking forward to having to marry this character? You are looking well today, my lord. Hello, sir. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> On the count of three. One. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. <clears throat> You're going to be a chicken kicker? I haven't actually made the character yet, Tams. Oh, brave knight. Have you come to protect me? <laughs> you big softy. You'd be rubbish in a fight, wouldn't you? <laughs> wouldn't you? I'll protect you, my lady. Hmm, I don't know. You don't look so tough either. Hmm, perhaps you can give me a demonstration of your abilities. Mm. <sighs> ah. How's that? Oh, not bad, not bad. <laughs> I suppose you'll do. I thought you'd never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother. More than usual. And it's even worse down in the city. You hear such terrible stories. <clears throat> Listen, they say a factory worker was executed this morning. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. The staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to them. Will you do that? I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. If you think it will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their prince. So, my good prince, will you... Good. Now let's go. I can't believe okay. your brother could have had a worker executed. But sometimes I think, well, that there's something wrong with him. He's changed so much. And he looks so tired all the time. Greetings, sir. <sighs> well, let's go figure this I out. I told Sir Walter about the speech. He'll be there to support you. Okay. I don't know what this place would be like without him. I'm sure he'll want to continue with your instruction today. He seems obsessed with combat training lately. At your service. <clears throat> Welcome, your majesty. Such an honor to have you here today. Staff are convened to hear your words. Whenever you're ready. You have all been through some difficult times. And the king has been too preoccupied to treat you as he should. But I ask you all to ignore any wild rumors you hear. I promise to speak with my brother about improving conditions for both you and your families outside the castle. Thank you. You call that a royal speech? You didn't shout, you didn't threaten, and you were far too reasonable. <laughs> it was bloody marvelous. Right then, 
Ready for today's training? Take good care of him, Walter. For a second there, it wasn't letting me through, so I, I thought I had to like, you've heard her. the rumors then. Well, I'm afraid they're quite true. Who knows what your brother will do next? In the meantime, the mood in the castle is getting more uneasy by the day. I think you have a knack for reaching out to people. They all looked up to you back there. The way they look up to a leader. Prince. A lot of people to see your brother today. Poor sods. Sir Walter, what a stroke of luck. Would you be so kind as to sign my petition? We must what? fight to eradicate poverty in Albion. Too many okay. suffer on our streets, and the king does nothing. He must be made to care. Oh, very well, but I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything. But perhaps the prince here would care to help you out. Oh, th that would be wonderful, your majesty. But it would be the greatest honor. See, the problem is, is the fact that I'm going to sign it, but... I'd be happy to sign. Thank you, my good prince. Your support will make all the difference. I'm certain of it. I'm not even supposed to be here. It kind of makes it to now I'm going against my that brother's was a words. Courageous move. I doubt it would make much of a difference, but perhaps your brother will finally realize that you have a mind of your own. Let's see you put it to good use in the combat room. Come on! You have no, I'm pretty sure it's just going to piss my brother off. But... Few weeks. but today isn't about practice. I want you to fight me. As if Kay. your life depended on it. Kay. I'm going to kill you. The people of Albion. Attack. Fight! Excellent! Do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child? Of your father, the great hero king. You'd never get tired of hearing those stories. And after each one, no, 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 no. Oh. you remember what you would say. Teach me how to be a hero. <laughs> Every single time. I wish that was something an old soldier like me could teach you. But I've done my best. Now I need you to do your best. Strike me. What are you afraid of? Hit me. And push this. Come on. Strike me as hard as you can. Pretty sure that was a yeah. <laughs> You only went and broke it. Look at that. Am I a great teacher or what? <laughs> But listen, there's something... Walter, you have to come quickly, both of you. What's happened? Outside the castle. It looks like a demonstration. This is not good. Who's got the demonstration going? Uh, A is to run. A is to run. They're right inside the castle grounds. I've never seen so many people out there. Balls. I should have known this would happen. I don't think they realize what your brother is capable of. This isn't going to end well. Okay, I'll get rid of them. It's been a long time since Logan listened to me, but I should find him. Stay here. There's still something we need to talk about. We can't just stand here. I have a horrible feeling about this. We need to do something. Look, the guards have moved away from the stairs. We should follow Walter. Find out what Logan's going to do. Let's go while we can. They must be in the war room. Then let's get there before anyone sees us. Crap. I was hoping I can actually, uh... Go outside and just be like, hey, everyone, go home, please. I'm currently dealing with the situation. Quick, you can see them. Think about what you're doing, Logan. I'm protecting the interests of the people. Do not question me again. You will shoot to kill. Start with the ringleaders, and if necessary, continue with the crowd. This is wrong. You can't do this. Oh! <gasps> Never tell me what I can't do. Walter! 
We can't let him kill all those people. You're his brother. Maybe he'll listen to you. We have to do something. What are you doing here? The war room is no place for a child. Leave now. I'm here to stop you. You can't kill those people. No, wait. Enough. How dare you turn against me? Perhaps you believe you should be the one making these decisions. You really wish to defend those traitors. Then so be it. Let us see how you do. Take my brother and his friends to the throne room. We shall settle this matter officially. Move! I'm going. <clears throat> what? Leave her alone! I'm all right, I'm all right. Don't worry. Whatever happens, we'll get through this together. Keep walking! Here come the saviors of the people. Come closer, brother. Today you have disappointed me beyond measure. I have been betrayed by my own blood and a filthy spy. We did nothing wrong. Punishment must be apportioned where it belongs. Punish me, then. You are no longer a child, and it is time I stopped treating you as one. You wish to save the traitors who had gathered outside the castle this morning very well. You shall have your chance to save them. Here stand the leaders of the violent mob. I will give you a choice. Who will be punished? These strangers or this girl? The sentence will be death. What? No, this can't be. You are the prince. Decide. Your Majesty, Logan, please. I am giving you power over life and death. No, I won't do this. If you can't choose, I will. They will all be executed. So tell me, what are you willing to sacrifice to do the right thing? This is madness. We can't. We just can't. Choose me. You can't let them all die. Choose me. There's only one decision you can make. It has to be me. Thank you. Thank you. It's all right. You did what you had to do. Never forget what he's done. And that I love you. Take the girl away. Kill her now. I will never forgive you for this. Good. Then you will never forget it. Escort my brother to his chambers. Now. So far, A's been the good choices, so... I'll try one with that one. You mustn't blame yourself, sir. I don't think... Any of us realize just how far he'd fallen into madness. I have to do something. I can't just stay here. You're not. We leave the castle tonight. This kingdom needs nothing less than a revolution. It needs a new leader. It needs a hero. It's time to see if you're ready. Ready for what? To be your father's son. Very good. I will pack some essentials. There's no time. We take nothing. Not even pajamas? Come on. We must leave now. Don't worry, sir. I shall follow you wherever fate may take us. I should have done something in the throne room. I should have stopped him. All you would have accomplished would have been your own death. Still, maybe I should have taken you away sooner. There is something rather sinister about this garden of night. Where are we going? I, I thought we were leaving the castle. We are. But there's something we must do first. Yeah, so that's why I chose A is because I was like, it looks like it's been the good option. Plus, to be fair, I don't think she would have um, been happy if we had It's time we paid her. our respects to Albion's last hero. I never thought I'd enter this place again. You should have known better. The night your father died, I promised him I would bring you here one day. When you were old enough. And strong enough. This is your history. This is your legacy. 
The world has been too long without a hero, but I'm hoping that it will have one soon. Okay, I was gonna say, what do you want me to do here? That brick went in deep. This is your father's most treasured possession. Also, the thing is massive. It's really it chooses those who have the power inside them. Those it's who like the size the of my head. To become legends. Take it. Is something supposed to happen? Teresa, the seer of the spire. I guided your father in his greatest triumph. But you have an even greater destiny ahead of you. The seal awoke at your touch, as it would at no one else's. This means the fate of Albion rests on your shoulders. Before you lies the path you were born to take, and at its end is the kingdom you were born to rule. Like all heroes, you will face many trials, but you cannot pass through these gates alone. You will need to gather followers and gain the support of the people. For now, you have the support of two friends. Jasper, who will serve you always, and Sir Walter Beck, who will be your greatest ally. Together you have already taken the first step in your journey. Walk through the gate and claim your reward. Interesting. There is a great power. The gauntlet will channel the magic within you. Use it by the tomb in the mausoleum, and the way out of the castle will open for you. You will return here when you have gathered enough followers to reach the next gate. Now go. Walter and Jasper will follow wherever you lead. And one day, perhaps the rest of Albion will do so too. So it's interesting that, uh, a little portrait of me. I think it's like the good or bad. Well, do you, do you feel any different? I don't know. Try casting a spell. That's supposed to be our only way of getting out of here. You might have mentioned that earlier. And spoil the surprise. <laughs> it bloody worked! You really are a hero! I never doubted it for a second. Well, of course, neither did I. Still, though, <laughs> it bloody worked! Somewhat narrow, isn't it? Dark, too. You never did care for confined spaces. I never did care for being poked in the eye or having my head chopped off. What of it? Oh dear, I seem to have struck a nerve. How about I strike a butler on the bumps? Trying to see if I can set things on fire, but it doesn't seem to be. There we go. Hold on. Weird that I can set the other one on fire. There we go. Lighting up the path for you guys. Hopefully that was better for you guys. Other than leaving the 
castle far behind us, which I wholly approve of, obviously. It's simple. We have to stop Logan. How am I supposed to do that? E even if I am a hero, I'm just one person. Exactly. That is why we need to find allies. And lots of them. Once you prove what you are, people will follow you. And many of them will be willing to fight, but they need a leader. Someone to believe in. Albion needs nothing less than a revolution. Hmm. Found a key over there. Don't know for what, but found one. Oh, come on, man. Bats, take them up. Well, young hero, this is your chance to show us what you've got. Use your spell against them. It's interesting that it keeps track of all my, my friend's kills, too. I kind of think that's kind of cool as well. Excellent! Did you see that, Jasper? Did you see it? Indeed. Your father would have been covered. Well, I know I am. Come on. And I'm proud of you too, old friend. I've never seen a man cower with such grace. <laughs> grace? It's merely a matter of hygiene. Bats are filthy creatures. <laughs> anyway, I think we've just seen the first proof of what you can you are the hero who can lead this land in a revolution. Bats are just the beginning. What is this door? I don't have a gold key. Okay. Not sure where the gold key is, but hey. If I remember about that, I'll go and definitely deal with that. More bats. Get ready to cast that man. Use your spell. Another impressive display, sir. To think, this morning my job consisted of laying out clothes for oil. Now I'm a midnight snack for bats. <laughs> You'll get used to it. You get used to being snacked on by bats? It's the Bowerstone sewers. Very well. So you might I don't know that's something you want to do. More bats! Time to exterminate a few more bats. Stay still, you. Go back. Well, you certainly got the hang of that spell. Shall we proceed? Ugh, what an unusual stench. I dare say we must be somewhere beneath Bowerstone Industrial. Very likely. Not the safest place for us right now. But we should be able to find a way out of the city. Oh, that's the way I Once have to go. I want to go this way. Exploration, exploration. So far, it's leading to nothing. That's okay. It appears to be a dead end. Not quite. What is that? I'm pretty sure it's a cult. Magical transportation system for heroes.
Did he faint? What is this place? You know, Hopefully it didn't hit his head. Be. It is. It's your father's sanctuary. He used to speak of it, but I never thought it was a real place. Well, I don't believe it. Jasper, this book. There's a note with your name on it. Look. That's not possible. For Jasper? Well, I grant you it is possible, but it must be a coincidence. Oh, don't be a dolt. The old king must have left it here for you. What's it called? The Book of Heroes. How extraordinary. Does it tell us how to get out? This really is most remarkable. Everything that we could possibly want to know about heroes and this place is right here in these pages. Excellent. So what do we do next? Besides, you know, get rid of the cobwebs. This map functions as a traveling mechanism. Simply choose where you want to go and, well, it should take you there. Marvelous. Oh. Right. We can use that. We'll have plenty of time to explore this place later. Right now, we have a rather large task ahead of us. But I don't even know where to start. Our first stop will be the mountains of Mispeak. There are people there who would make great allies. They won't offer their allegiance easily, but they despise Logan. And if anyone can persuade them, it's a hero. Very good. I will continue to become acquainted with this sanctuary. No doubt we will need to make full use of its facilities. Right, all right then. Find Miss Peak on the map and let's see if that book's telling us the truth. Now, that looks like the Dweller Camp in Mist Peak, just there. Select that as your destination, and you should be taken there. Just like that. Okay. I'll trust you guys. I do like the fact that it's actually telling me, like, you know, like, what my friends have done. And, like, that I can accomplish more than them. Oh. I'd forgotten how bloody cold it is up here. That's pretty nice, actually. Come on. The people here call themselves dwellers. They're tough. Hey, dwellers. They're loyal. And like I told you earlier, You've come they the hate city. Logan's guts. Yeah. It may not look like much, but this is where the revolution begins. This is what Logan has reduced them to. He's taken control of these mountains. I don't have any food. Started I destroying its forests. I knew they'd have a hard time finding food, but I had no idea it was this bad. The man we need to convince is Sabine, a proud old sod, but a good man and a good leader. He won't give his allegiance easily, especially to a prince. Perhaps it's best if I speak to him alone first. You know, maybe you ought to find some new clothes while I talk to Sabine. Something slightly less princely. We don't need this kind of attention. I only have a little bit of gold, but it should be enough. And maybe you can spread what's left among the people. They need it more than we do. Where can I find clothes? Oh, don't worry. You'll find someone willing to take that money off you. Now, you don't look wish like me good luck. Folk. Maybe you're more giving. Sabine's got a plan to get us out of this mess. Okay, uh, guys. Uh, I'm oh yeah, you can like buy like businesses and stuff. I forgot that you could do that. <laughs> you could buy houses and like rent them out and shit. This is all King Logan's fault. It's all Logan's fault. Please, we're starving. Hunger making you feel the cold? I have warm clothes. Hello. No one's bought anything for ages apart from you. Thank you. Hello, sir. This is Jasper. Uh, hello? Is, is this, uh, uh, this is Jasper. how you use... Uh, yeah. I am speaking to you through the guild seal. What an extraordinary device. Oh. It would seem that as long as you carry the seal, we can communicate freely. Okay. Not only that, but you may return to the sanctuary any time you deem it necessary. Okay. Might I suggest you do so now and try on your... 
of it. Okay. Ah, hello. Now, included in the sanctuary is a dressing room. Step through, and I'll show you. Okay. I've taken the liberty of laying out your clothes on these mannequins, which should serve as convenient storage for any garments. There you are. You look just like a dweller. I hope this new outfit is as comfortable as your royal attire, though I suspect the chances of that are quite low. Don't really like the headpiece, but I'll change that later. Now that you are properly attired, you should return to Sir Walter. It is time to meet this Sabine that we've heard so much about. Did she bring anything? A reliable way to gather a few followers is by simply interacting with people. Try it. I'm sure you'll make an impression. I'd go up to the castle right now and kill Logan. It's like a never-ending nightmare. This can't go on much longer. Oh, thank you. This will really help. It, it's so cold here. I feel That's so weak. Real. My friends will be jealous. Why? Why would the king want to make us suffer like this? I'm not sure where I can stand. Please help us. Thank you. Thank you. You've come from the city, from Bowerstone, haven't you? You must have some food. You are very charitable. Thank you so much. Why would the king want to make us suffer like this? All I've eaten this week is snow. Thank you so much. Just giving out some money. Uh, trying to get my ranks up and stuff. Spend it. But thank you. Thank Daddy you. says there's nothing to eat. We'll all starve to death if things hungry. don't change. Really? For me? Interact with you. Give you money. Hey. Thanks. Please help us. I can buy property. Wish I could actually start buying the property, but I don't think it lets me yet. Yeah, I'm definitely going to start buying property. I remember doing that and loving, like, because you get income. We don't need much, just enough to survive. There. Oh. Please, you must have something. There you go. That's more like it. The scruffy look suits you. I've spoken to Sabine, explained everything, and he's, well, <laughs> I told you he'd take some convincing. Come on. Out of the way, Boulder. I can't see a thing. So royalty walks into our home. A prince, no less. You're a long mile from the castle, prince. What do you think of our home, then? Do you like what your brother has done to us? These mountains have always been ours. Now Logan's taken them, and he's stripping them of all life. Oh, we're ready to go to war. But why should we follow Logan's kin? You can trust me. You have my word. <laughs> We don't take much stock in words around these parts. We're simple folk. Ain't that right, Boulder? Oh. Then what do you want? Proof. First, prove you are truly, as Walter claims, a hero. This is easily done. There's a secret chamber beneath the town of Brightwall, built by your own father. Only heroes can survive its trials and reach the relics within. Bring me one of these ancient objects and I will believe you. Second, prove you are a warrior worthy of leading us into battle. You can do this by slaying the mercenaries who plague Mist Peak Valley and who have long soured our existence. Third, prove you are a true leader. Persuade our neighbors in Brightwall to share what food they have with us. Hip. Order. Oh. 
If we cannot eat, we will die, and the dead make poor allies. Is that all? Yep, that's the lot. Off you go, then. Good luck. Nice knowing you. Kill a group of people, get you a relic, get you allies. Or it's trade agreement. Nice to see Sabine hasn't mellowed with age. But anyway, I know the place he mentioned. Your father built the chamber under the Bright Wall Academy, Albion's greatest seat of learning. At least it was, until Logan closed it down. Just show the old librarian your guild seal. You'll know what it means. Stop I'll pushing. try to find out more about these mercenaries. I'll see you in Brightwall when I have some information. Hmm. It makes a nice change doing something useful. Well, really like a sword. Now I'm just like magic based. Running down the hill. I want to explore, but I think exploring is a bad idea right now. I don't know. I don't know if it's balanced. I need five keys. No. Uh, puffers. I'm coming back. I don't have a shovel. Where are you? No, I'll just come down all the way. I don't know where the dog went. Lost him. Also, I don't have a shovel, so. Where are you? There you are. Cool. I don't. Oh, you have a shovel. My apologies. Apparently, I do have a shovel. Oh, cool. 30 bucks. Ah, uh, pet. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> My argument has always been, if the dog finds me something like that, I'll pet the dog. Makes the most of my sense. Reward him. Hi, guys. That was at least uh, decent. Back that one? No. Spell kills. Ooh, I now beat Chris. Spell kills. I won. Keep going, puppers. Some more wolves up ahead. See one of them. The roads have gotten pretty bad when there's just like wolves just actively. Standing here in group of four waiting for you on the road. Nope, oh, 
treasure. Oh, nice. Good work, dog. I'll accept that. And I will pet you. You did a good job. Oh, I love you. Oh. Let's go. Nope. Did you find something else? A big spot. Holy shit. Okay. Another fifty gold. Cool. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, he's just finding all the bodies that were hidden there once before. And just unmarked graves. That would be humorous. Or people's like buried treasure, or like later they're like, "Oh man, I buried some treasure here." Hmm. That looks oddly suspicious for nothing being there. Hey guys. I see you're approaching Brightwall, a most charming little hamlet. And a perfect opportunity to acquaint yourself with the fine, honest people of this kingdom, far from the bustle of the city and the factory smoke. Of course, a less charitable mind would turn them simpletons, but I encourage you to shop in their stores, drink in their taverns, and otherwise partake in their small town pleasures. Well, at this point in time, my goal is to uh, try to figure out where it wants me to do, and then proceed further along. Uh, why are the books just on the ground? Doesn't seem good for a library. The library is closed by order of the king. We don't sell oh. drinks. We don't sell chicken feed. Please leave before the soldiers suspect you of gaining any real knowledge. <clears throat> Sweet papyrus. A real visitor. I, I'm afraid I was speaking the truth. King Logan has closed the academy. I'm little more than a custodian these days. That's fine. Don't worry, buddy. By the I have this to show you. Hawkmark, the guild seal. I'm not sure where I'm hiding it. I haven't seen it since the old hero king last came here. Oh, then you are the prince. Yes. Oh my! Uh, please come this way. Your father told me that one day a challenger bearing the seal would come seeking entrance to the reliquary, but I never imagined it would happen in my lifetime. It was he who founded the Academy, of course. I have often wondered how he would react to see it in its present state. I don't know if you have candles that close to books, though. I can't tell you how many of our researchers and professors have studied this door, Hoping to unlock its mechanism, but I knew there was only one thing that would ever open it. Magic. Is 
there anything off in these side rooms? Oh yeah, there's a chest here. I'm I'm not petting you for that. I saw the chest before you did. You have trained books. Okay. How do I access that? There are new items available in the sanctuary shop. Rename dog. Rename dog. To the Navi. Spy. Oh, always name my dog. Uh, my uh, pet in most games. Navi. Because oh, hey, catchy. hey, listen. He's bound to enjoy being called that. Ah. Uh when someone has given you a gift, I will keep it for you here until you wish to unwrap it. I shan't peek, I promise. Okay. The Guild Seal. That artifact held incredible personal significance for your father. He cherished it more than anything save your family. Okay. If you don't spend your money, it will accrue here in a sort of golden fleece. Hmm. Your trophies are all stored here, mounted, okay. I should say. And these are my, my achievements. Yeah, it looks like it. Apparently, this wall records your achievements. I'm still trying to work out the specifics. Any other business to attend to? A new item or two might spice things up nicely. This is the sanctuary shop where you can buy items from outside Albion to enhance your adventures. If you're unsatisfied with whom you can see, or who can see you, you can make changes here. Cool. Still don't know how to do the thing with the book. Not what I want to do, but that's okay. If I talk to him, does it work? Yeah, up on the D-pad. There we go. Now I'll pet him for that. Who's a beautiful dog? Who's a my favorite dog? <laughs> He did learn an ability. Okay, I can go in here. I just can't exit. Anything in here? Special? Oh, yeah, like this book. When you find yourself in a sword fight, just make sure you got the other fellow first. Easy, what? <laughs> Dig spot? There are lots of search spots, actually. I didn't realize that. I'll be searching here in a bit. Forty gold. Okay, can I search this? Yeah. 
two gold? Who's hiding like two and three gold in a fucking bookshelf? Like if you're using a bookshelf as a piggy bank, you may have a problem. Making sure I read that right. Okay. Hoping there would be something cool in one of these, like an actual book. Just looks like some money, which is still good. Money is still useful. See. Excuse me, puffers. I'm going to check the one side here, then I'll go to the other side, and then we'll continue on. Let's try to make sure I get as much money as possible for these. Because, yeah. Please, please stop. Oh, it's little sparkles on the ground. I was like, thought there was something he was trying to tell me I could pick up. I was like, what the heck? Okay. Yeah, I don't know how much money I made in this room, but... Should have been at least a decent amount. Oh, one more bookshelf right here. No. Nope. I see it. You cannot claim it. I see it. You cannot claim it. God damn it. I'm not petting you for that. I saw it. I believe I'll have to go on both sides anyway. Just make sure I didn't miss any other treasures or items. So that one brings me down to the actual. Ah, hello, Jasper here again. I believe that amazing device is what is known as a flit switch. However, on the subject of amazing things, you will not believe what I have just found in the sanctuary. You should come back as soon as you possibly can. This sanctuary contains an armory, within which there are some truly remarkable weapons, heroic weapons, which your father left for you. This way, please. Apparently, as you use it, the blade actually becomes longer and sharper. Imagine. According to the book, the hammer can grow larger and heavier with use. Incredible. Well, I'm going to go with the sword. Apparently, as you use it, the blade actually becomes longer and sharper. Imagine. I can rename the sword. 
Now, admittedly, these weapons don't appear particularly... That sword is certain to cut a swathe through your foes, and depending on whom you kill and how, it will grow ever more powerful. Well, now that you have a proper weapon, you should return to the chambers underneath Brightwall Academy. Ah, yes, the flit switch. Now, the way you activate these is by hitting them. Your new weapon should serve that purpose. Later. Okay, so how do I switch back to my magic? Because that pulls out the sword now. Or, or is it is that what the sword was? The magic's a different button. I think the magic's B, actually. It is. Okay, never mind. Can I have control of my character now? Hey guys. That's how to roll. Uh, I would love to roll out of combat there. Thanks. That was sketchy at the end there. <clears throat> you found Dick's bump? Okay, bring me to it. I'm following you. Thanks. Another 50 gold. <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh. It's gonna need a special key. Nope. I see it. Do not claim things I see. I think it's one of the things like why I always called things Navi too. It's like Navi was so fucking irritating. Sometimes you get characters that just are like that too. Like the fact that he's informing of a chest that I'm clearly can see. Okay, and then you can click a button and it opens up. Okay. So I'm gonna go this way first. 
Okay. So it also prevents me from being able to click more than once. So I think it, it's like, kind of like I may not be able to get all the treasure if I'm not careful. way because yeah then I can search this this dog's just standing on top of it <coughs> okay um you know what let's try that Hey, let you give me this chest. Okay. Then if I go this way. Oh man, I won't be able to fight those guys. That sucks. That sucks. So maybe what I had to do was uh, do the that chest one. The uh, yeah, go like the chest and then come this way. Go over, then go over. Huh. I don't know. Well, I guess I'm diving. Turn around. There's nothing on this island. Nope. Dog finally has joined me. I didn't even realize it was a dive spot. I literally was just trying to like fast. And then it was like, hey, you want to dive? I'm like, what? And then it was already diving. I was like, oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, man, that sucked. Oh, you finally want to bring up a dig spot? It's almost like I was trying to like, convince you to do one. A 
I'll still pet you for it. Hey. <laughs> well, I'm disappointed at how long it took him. Read these? So, this is how it ends. I steal the blueprints for the dungeon from the architect who built it. Find the secret entrance on the other side of Miss Peak. Almost get killed by several hollow men. Stub my toe against a rock so that it really hurts when I walk. And now this. I know there's a great treasure in here somewhere. And I know it has something to do with these braziers. I just don't know what. But I'm not leaving until I solve this riddle. Man, you're a silly man. You could have just left, grabbed a torch, came back. And the uh, ironic part is the fact that I actually was already going to be lighting the them. Interesting that that's not the path I'm actually supposed to take. Yeah, I see it. You don't get to claim it. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see that I got to the chest before you did, dog. Can't see that. Okay, so that was that one. I totally missed that path. Anything over here? Nothing. Going up here. Can I kill those bats? Uh, no. I'll leave the bats alone. Oh. Where? Where's their dig spot? You barked? Playing dig spot. Where? Dog. Is it up where I was? Yeah, it was. Dog, go to the dig spot. Are you drunk? I think the dog is drunk. You gonna summon more of your kind faster here?
hiding them behind there. Yeah, I figured. I don't know if I'm gonna give that up to you either, God. I kinda knew that one was there. However, I'm gonna go up here. Okay, so this is up here. Ah. Interesting. And what's this switch do? Some of these guys, apparently. Ooh, you guys are actually quite strong. A couple of you are actually withstanding multiple. Oh, shoot. Ow. Bullshit. Wow, that guy actually withstanding like a lot of swords from too. I don't know if I can get to that. Can I drop down here? Yep. Yeah. Cool. And there's a chest and a key up here. Except the chest is not really a chest. Which is a shame. Okay. I'm really hoping it's not because I messed up on that uh, thing, but who knows. I really hate when games punish you like that. It's just like, well, how am I supposed to know all these, like, things I have to do exactly how I can do it? <sighs> oh, my first playthrough. Ah, hello. Yes, you'll recall that I... Ah, so the weapons in question were also left for you by your father. They are in the armory. The pistol is best suited to short ranges and packs <coughs> a surprising punch. And then the rifle. Like the sword and hammer, these astonishing weapons evolve over time as you use them, becoming ever more fearsome. They can cause more damage and achieve other incredible effects. I'll probably go with the pistol. The pistol. Excellent choice. You are in an enclosed space at the moment, after all. I'll keep the rifle here in case you change your mind. In the meantime, experiment and see what incredible properties are waiting to be unlocked. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. 
fuck out of here. God damn it. Fuck away from me. To go find yourself some lots of hassle. Oh, that guy is big. Okay, not what I meant to do. I want to dodge, but keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, I meaning to roll, but A is to roll. You cannot claim the treasure. It's clearly something I can see. Yeah, I can see the treasure, dog. Interesting that there were so many slow potions. Almost feels like they want me to use them. I may be selling all those potions. It's almost like I beat you to the dig spot. I went the wrong way. Yeah, I'm going to sell those with the uh, plan of using the money to buy places. So many of these guys. They don't really do much in the middle, do they? You know, they don't really do like one or two. Like, they do one or two, or fucking like, you know. 12 or 13. They don't do a lot of like sixes.
Okay, I'm just going to make sure there's nothing behind here. Yeah, I was going to say, is this a dig spot? I'm not giving it to this one to you either, man. Music box, skip. You have done well. Now, step into the light. There is much you need to know. Congratulations, hero. Touching the guild seal was an indication of what you could become. Reaching the music box has proven what you already are. No one but a hero could have done it. You have begun to learn what powers you possess. And there is still greater potential within you. But you have only taken the first step in your journey. Albion is crying out for a revolution, and for someone to lead it. Winning supporters to your cause will be hard. Leading them against Logan will be an even greater challenge. But it's one you must accomplish. I'll make him pay for what he did. This is not a matter of personal vengeance. As long as your brother sits on the throne, Albion is in great danger. Open the music box. It will show you the truth. This is my Albion. Its cities will bow to my law, or they will burn. Its mountains will bend to my will, or they will fall. This is my Albion. Its people will do as I say, or they will die. Its future will be as I decree, or it will end. I've seen what must be done, and nothing will stand in my way. We will be greater, and we will be stronger, no matter what sacrifices we must make. This is my Albion, and I will see it destroyed before I surrender it. If any part of you still doubted the necessity of a revolution, you have your answer. The kingdom will face its own annihilation under your brother's rule. Now, do whatever you must to gain your first ally, for you cannot lead a rebellion without followers. Sabine is a good man, and his people are strong. The sanctuary shop has some knuckles. new bits and bobs, I believe. Why not have a look? Go back These new this. gloves would look supremely handsome, gripping the hilt of a finely polished sword. Which reminds me, where have I left the sword polish? Anyone can dress as a uh, but can no I customize? It off quite as you do. You can use these mannequins to store your current look in order to easily select it later. Okay, how do I customize? How do I customize? All right, that's fine. Over here, customize. And, uh, head. Yes. You know, what would go perfectly with those gloves is a riding crop or a, hmm, generals use them to point to maps. A swagger stick, that's it, swagger stick, swagger stick. Such a deliciously staccato, mm -hmm. nice glove. Hmm. 
Well, if you prefer it that way, who am I to judge whether a change of apparel is significantly detrimental to one's appearance? Okay, so I have to spend uh, stuff to unlock these. Okay. Make sure that wasn't important. It's not. Okay. Uh, insert from color into your hero's wardrobe. Learn how to dye your clothes and hair red, blue, green, or gray. Learn whisper, hero pose, and chat expressions in order to become friends with people. Yeah. They only cost two, so they're not that big of a deal. Become Elion's greatest land baron by learning how to buy rent. Dick recluses! Yes! This is the shock spell. Yeah, I want the shock spell. Do more damage with any magical spell? Yeah. Okay, ranged does more and melee does more. So I need 40 more points. Okay, not bad. Welcome to the saint. Uh how do I switch magic? Can I switch on the fly? Or is it like an Thing where I have to go in here. You have a new type here. of gauntlet available. That is a gauntlet, a device which allows a hero to channel magical energies to cast spells. Quite extraordinary. Excellent choice of gauntlet. Yep. So I have to come back here when I have uh it's not bad. <laughs> Blessed index cards. You made it. This is cause for great rejoicing. Albion <coughs> as a hero again. If ever I can be of assistance, I will be honored to serve you. I knew you would succeed, sir. You now have proof positive of your heroic status. And I believe Walter has made some progress with the mercenary problem. He is... How curious that Sir Walter should have chosen a tavern as your rendezvous point. I trust you are finding everything all right? Can I? How do we color it? Have you? Very well. Right here. Uh, select. Upper body main. Oh, fucking right. And then we'll go to gray. 
just like this. Right, uh, no, orange color. Go that, and then trim. Uh, main and feel free to change the color of your clothes or hair using the dyes that is after all what they are for cool any other business to attend I actually really like that Their military gloves. What's this? Things I can buy? Oh, that's a loot thing. I can make money there. High eating contest? Anything, or paymaker? And then, yeah. Try this one out. Looking for something special, or will it just be the regular stuff today? Champion, thanks. Okay. Let's hope I don't screw this up. I sell the best stuff in Brightwall. You've amassed enough money to buy a house. Houses are excellent investments. Besides, you'll need somewhere to live if you meet that special someone. How astonishing! Good one. Okay, I got. A modifier going on. I'm making actually quite a bit of money. Yeah, nice. We will not be undersold. That is our non-binding guarantee. That is going pretty fast, though. Rah, rah, rah. Yay. Splendid. I messed up that one. Okay, I don't quick. well like that. Yes, I do. If you don't help me, who will? Haven't seen as many scoundrels about recently. Probably Score two hundred and ninety two. Okay, so it actually counts as both of them. Oh, how disgusting. <laughs> well, we'll check out this shop then. <laughs> oh, that's a good pie. I love your technique. Great, thank you. Just trying to make some extra money. Please come back. Mmm, sublime. This may be something I actually do uh, off stream at some point. Go you through and just try to like make lots of money from these. That'll fetch a good price. Why go round? Oh, that's a good pie. Wearing clothes. Spend yeah. for the love of all you old I sacred. Sell bright walls best. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. That was my favorite rolling pin. I pressed the wrong button. You can buy the shop and start your business empire by unlocking the empire rank in the. Okay, so I cannot buy 
shops yet. I can buy houses. What about shops? Overweight. The most wonderful bard I've oh. ever heard. Oh, sorry, sir. Ah, oh, my favorite citizen. Hope you're well. Neutral. Everyone's fairly neutral with me. Um, this way. The finest goods in Brightwall. Oh, you're saying right there. You were hey, buddy. successful then. Bloody marvelous. You'll be glad to know I have some information on the mercenaries Sabine mentioned. They're led okay. by a man called Saker. He used to be a soldier, but always had more in common with bandits and cutthroats than the military. His men are holed up in a small fortress in the mountains, so it won't be easy to get in. But I have a plan. Good. Come with me. I was just going to... Jump in and attack everything. Why, that's good of you. One of the mercenaries, a cold blooded killer. His name's Clarence, but everybody calls him Jimmy. He was drinking okay. in the pub all day and generally making life unpleasant for everyone. It wasn't okay. hard to get him completely pickled. These young thugs, bloody lightweights, if you ask me. Anyway, take his clothes and you'll have a free pass into their camp. Yep. Just try not to think about what those stains might be. We have juice and Ah, hello. What I'm gonna do is save this actual fit then. I hope everything is in order. It will be waiting for you next time. Because then what happens when I go take his actual outfit? Hmm, you're not likely to convince anyone without a bit of extra effort. Even these idiots will notice if you don't have his beard or tattoos. I'm sure you can get hold of what you need around town, though. In the meantime, I'll find out who to talk to about getting food to the dwellers. They might not have much to spare here, but they're kind people. They'll just need a little convincing. Anyway, good luck yep. dealing with Saker and his mercenaries. It'll be your first taste of real battle. But I know you'll do just fine. Okay, let's just make sure there's nothing I can. Interact with anything else I can interact with for me. Oh, okay. Nice. Get tattoos. Shop again. Business has been so bad lately, I'm practically giving it away. This way. You have Come on, run. Always happy to help. Why do I have to go here? Well, it's telling me I have to do this. I guess I have to earn more money. Mastery, right there. Pie of the day, I reckon. Oh, okay, so I actually had to earn more money. Feel free to look around. Mm, I see. Pie making perfection. I thought that's how much money was in his clothes. I love your technique. Not how much money I had to earn for this quest. Ooh, that crust is divine. You appear to have earned enough gold to purchase the rather repulsive items you require to complete your mercenary disguise. A most impressive feat for a member of the royal family. 
Of course, should you have acquired a taste for labor, you may continue working for as long as you wish. Yeah, I'll keep working. Mostly because of the fact Wonderful that I've got a streak work. going. So until I ruin the streak, I might as well keep going. Great pie. Oh, be careful. I pressed the wrong button immediately. Okay, that's fine. I sell the best items in all Brightwall. I'm trying to get my life back together. Do they actually have like this level one? Yeah, I think it just classifies a level I one. Sell best. Unless like you can actually get to a higher level. You. Like, Do you go into a lot of caves? Did not mean to use my lightning, but whoopsie. Okay. Barbershop. Need some help there? Yeah, it may be expensive, but it's worth every ounce of gold. Jesus, fuck, they I are expensive. Give you a whole new look. We should have just what you need. You're paying top gold for a top quality item. One quest after It appears you have all the required ingredients for your distasteful mercenary. Let's adjourn to the dressing room and see about your disguise, shall we? Yeah, those are really expensive. The appropriate facial hair adorns the bust before you. Perfect. You look dangerous and devoid of all human decency already. Now, for the tattoo. Beard and the tattoo are splendid. You're just missing one thing the mercenary outfit. Ah, yes, very mercenary indeed. You'll fit right in with those brutes. Now then, you better be off to deal with Saker, hadn't you? Okay. That's just yeah, those were really expensive. The finest goods in Brightwall. <laughs> just, just, just fucking eat shit. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, no, um I'll have to make some more money. Once I figure out how much those houses are going to cost, I think I'm going to buy every single fucking house. If I can. The aim, uh, the goal is to, uh, to try charging. Well, anyway, I was going to say, the, the goal was to charge them exactly. Like a little bit more than they could have. Like, if it's like, oh, um, you have to pay 10 gold to own this, like, land taxes. I don't know if it's actually land taxes or not, but it's like, it, it, as long as I'm making a profit, I'm good. Basically, I was going to try thing too. Pretty sure there's a couple of dig spots around here, but that's okay. Just get rid of these guys first and then deal with everything later. I'm gonna do the dig spot then. Oh, it's right there. Okay. You got pets for that. Huh. 
Jimmy, back from killing some dwellers. Come on in. Well, I'm definitely not Jimmy, but see how long it takes before they realize that. You've been up to much lately? Nah, nah, me neither. I sometimes wish I'd join me dad with a family business. Might didn't you? Well, I never saw myself as a sugar salesman. And it wasn't really feasible after I killed him and all. Oh, uh, Jim. Hey, Jimmy, over here. Yeah, just one more, man. Don't be shy, Jimmy. Come on over. Jimmy, over here, mate. Jimmy, show stilts here that thing you do. You know, the thing. What thing? Ah, you've not gone all shy on me all of a sudden, have you? Um, go on, show him. How do I like do any of my taunts? was doing it all day last Tuesday. That Captain Saker in stitches. Come on, show him. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. Roll over, you stupid mutt. Don't get too close. All right, Jim, how's things? You've been drinking in Brightwall again? And don't let anybody tell you, drinking alone is wrong. That's some of the best times I've had. Anyway, in you go then, mate. Your beard looks a bit... Jimmy, that really you? You look different somehow. Were your eyes always that color? Nah. Jimmy's got periwinkle eyes like a beautiful summer morning sky. That's not him. It's not Jimmy. Okay, uh, give me a second. I don't know how I pause Welcome myself. Welcome to the sanctuary. Hey, I do. My cover's been blown, so, uh. I trust you are finding everything all right. Wonderful. Think you're better than us with all Bro. that magic? Yes. Any last words? Actually, don't bother. I just don't care. Ooh. Bro. 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 Let's keep. Let's keep. Let's keep. Fire gun. Keep pressing the wrong button. That's okay. Get out of the line of fire, you fool! Get it. Ooh. Yeah, I know. I, I'm broke. I, I had to sell all my or buy a bunch of stupid shit to fool you guys.
Wow. Oh, you guys are actually shooting at me. Yeah, fair enough. I know, man. It's pretty cool. Casting spells is very cool. Cool. Got more uh, tattoos and stuff. Stand right here. He's not so big. Don't let him. <laughs> Try to see if there's anything special back here. I don't think I can actually go any the too far here. Run this way. No. I thought there was a barrel there. I don't know. Somebody popped up a, a barrel and I was just like, oh, look, barrel. Oh, now I'm destroying all the barrels. Basically explaining what I'm doing this for. I'm not sure I like tattoo. Cool. Kill the Jimmy impersonator. Let's see your skill. Well, I can get either the pistol or the uh, pistol, the other one. Time to rip out someone's heart and lungs. I'll keep it. Whoa, what the hell was that? with you. Could you just get this over with and die already? Oh, that didn't work. You can't cast spells on my mates like that, you swine. Yeah, I can. Everywhere it says I can't. All right, I'm waiting. <clears throat> yeah, 
Okay. The lightning's a little bit weaker than the actual uh, fire, it feels like. But I do like the fact that it kind of like... I don't know what happened there, but it's okay. That kind of shocks him for a bit. There's a lot to that one. Crazy. Oh, wow. Key just right there. There's like five, uh, four or five guys up the bridge there. of laughs so it looks like i have to kill a certain amount of them with the barrels Why did that? Why did you take a close up of that guy? Jimmy's still okay. You know, like that, right? Like, I haven't killed Jimmy. I like all of you guys. Jimmy's still gonna go and come back to his all of his friends until he's dead. Yep, fair. So I don't know if it's like has to be done in this area or not. But, uh, if it has to be down this area, I probably won't get it. If it just has to be done in general, I probably will. Left quite a trail of bodies. You're not one of Sabine's dwellers, that's for damn sure. But you'll die like one. Roll, roll, Roberts. Jesus fuck. Standing in fucking fire.
Oh, wrong button. Okay. okay. Ear, anything right now? My ear kind of starts ringing. Weird. Hey, I thought you guys weren't gonna get involved. That was my mistake. That was my mistake. That was my mistake. You want to die anytime soon or no? Jesus, fuck them. You scared the shit out of me there. Especially because the game kind of froze. I was like, what the fuck is going on? That's good. Everything's okay, just gonna run around a little bit, just like heal up a little. There we go. Wrong. Just crap. Yep, that's fun. I can't roll anymore. Okay, I'm gonna have to heal. At least I tried healing. Sure what happened there. What's happening? Why do you keep fucking doing that?
Come on. There we go. I think he's actually dead down. Stop! If one, this battle is yours. Kill me or let me live. It's your choice. And my men will honor it. We may be nothing but mercenaries, but we have our codes, like any other soldiers. We'll leave the dwellers be, no matter what you do. That is a warrior's promise. Okay. Oh, A is always the option now. No, stop smoking. It's actually bad for you. Thank you. I won't forget this. Let the stranger go. You have taken another step on the road to rule. Sparing Saker has won over the support of his followers. Word is already spreading of your compassion and your strength. I'm just quickly getting these so I have the stuff for them. I go into the next area and yeah now I have the look on me I'll learn dance hug kiss to become the best friend okay well it's marriage house buying having children and adoption become a better blacksmith and earn money uh, by striking steel Okay, we'll go with that one. Our right, upgrade the pie maker to level two. Okay. And upgrade the loop to level two. On this side, I can learn magic level 2, which is going to cost me 40, range level 2, and yeah, okay. So that's all it's good. I just need lots of points now. Because I'll need, uh, what is it? 80, 120? 120 points. Okay. It is a momentous occasion. Your first victory in battle. I'm no expert on personal combat, but I would say, based on the fact that you're not dead, you acquitted yourself rather well. It's hard to believe that just a few days ago I was rousing you from a comfortable bed. It would seem that you have completed two of the tasks that Sabine set for you. If you return to Brightwell, you will find Sir Walter has some news on how to fulfill the last requirement. Use the map. Oh, okay. I'm not going to use the map. So I actually want to make sure I didn't miss anything here. I can actually theoretically eventually buy these. Okay, 
interesting. Oh, that's a shop. Okay, that's why I can't do it. Go up here. Looks like there's a treasure chest back here. Nice. Found a dick spot? Where? Right there? Okay. I'll give you a pet spot. Ooh, 150 gold. Ha! <laughs> ah. Ah, who's my best friend? Yeah! <laughs> Okay. Let's go. But yeah, I think I'll try buying all the houses and stuff. Oh, hey, there's a chest right here, too. This is why I went backwards, by the way. Now I've got three things. I would not have collected otherwise. I'll do this. Sir Walter just so is still waiting for you in the Brightfall Tavern. He seems to have become rather attached to the place. Hmm. There's a quest here. There's also a bunch of keys and gnomes. I'll have to hunt down the gnomes at some point as well. to open myself to the world when it was different, happy, prosperous, peaceful. But that world is gone, and today's is a tragic and horrible place. I find myself feeling protective, sad, closed off. Is there anything left that is not evil and corrupt or broken and miserable? Anyone who is still innocent, pure, happy. The sight of one such person, no matter how small, would do so much for my spirits. I would open myself to the world again. Okay. Well, yeah, like a child's just happy. Then, no, that's just a chicken feather. I wouldn't drink that if I were you. Ah, here he is. We were just talking about you. Indeed, we have made a toast to your stupendous feat in ridding Mistpeak of Saker and his men. 
They have been a source of great distress for some time. Nobody will be more pleased than Sabine. His dwellers might find some peace now. Of course, nobody has suffered more than they. I've been telling Samuel here about the terrible situation they're in. He thinks he may be able to help. Uh, yes, yep. well, uh, perhaps. I, I mean, of course. The thing is, what do you want? as I was just explaining to Sir Walter, Brightwall has no overabundance of resources itself. The King's yep. levies are rather steep, and we face shortages more often than is comfortable. But? Yep. But were you to improve things around Brightwall, the people would be most grateful. And when people are grateful, they're also charitable. I'm yep. sure they would find it in their hearts to send aid to those poor people. There you have it. Yep. The way I see it, you will need all the followers you can get if you're going to lead a successful rebellion. What better time to start? I heartily agree with Sir Walter. Pardon me for overhearing. As it happens, I've learned of a promising method for amassing followers. If you'll return to the sanctuary at your earliest convenience, I can show you what I mean. Ah, now, the book says there is an additional rather amazing capability about the sanctuary's map table. It can help you find people who are in need of a hero. Th thanks, Lionhead Studios. An excellent way to gain followers is by helping villagers in need. Take a closer look at Brightwall and I will... You can now see the villagers in need. You can also see how many followers you must amass to impress Samuel and the people of Brightwall. Select a villager to help. By doing so, you will gain the respect and loyalty of others in the region. Okay, well... Select a villager to help, and by helping... Let's go help people. Uh, why did it turn me here? Oh, because they're outside the actual village. That makes sense. Hi. Please, you've got to help me. I'm so worried. It's my daughter, you see. I can't find... Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Please bring her back safe and sound as soon as you can. Let's go do that right now. Okay. Run, 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 run. Run. Is that wolves over there? It is. Get robes off the wall with robes. Jeez. It's missing a couple of those last shots. I need 29 more. Yeah, I see it. 29 more. That's not bad. I also need a bunch more for other things. Uh, you can apply any hair you own. Oh, hair.
Hey kid, I'm here. Not your mom, but I do have the intention of trying to save you. Give me a second, I found Dick's Bob. Uh, sorry, buddy, I'm not going to be able to pet. Hey, you. Yeah, I see it. Bird wolves. Don't see them. Hey, kid. Hi. Many of them, and they're so scary. Please take me back to mommy. Yeah, I will definitely, kid. Okay, I, I figure out what happened. I can't. Apparently something is still alive. There we go. I have curiosity. Can we go in here? No. I had to make sure. Oh, hey guys. You're fine. Oh, shit, he teleported. He almost got her, too. He teleported. But I beat him in the end. I shouldn't talk to strangers. Oh, I just did. That's okay. You know, uh... No honesty, kid. Um... Uh, you've been talking to me for a while. One and two. The cave. Brilliant. Get your heads over here. There's two. This is the more important one. I did save you from a bunch of wolves. So. What's that? Help! My gun away. That looks really dangerous. Do you use it on monsters? Did you not just watch me? I spy with my little eye something beginning with S. Stairs. Stone. Sleet. Snow. More nasty things. Don't let them eat me. 
I, I need you to throw my hand. Mum says there's no dragons anymore. Where'd they go? Sleep. <laughs> Are we there yet? Almost, kid. There's been king of wolves for the last little bit. Almost. Literally around the corner. Like, that's your home. Your mom's right there. So, did I win the I Spy thing, or what? There's my mom! <clears throat> mommy! Mommy! My darling! <coughs> Darling, what a relief. I was beside myself. I can't thank you enough. I'm forever in your debt. My other big problem is the fact that theoretically I'm, I'm going to probably be using those. You need more followers. Try. Wait, I can acquire this house. Oh my God! Sixty-one thousand dollars to get the blacksmith. A uh, hundred and forty-two thousand dollars. Jesus! Fuck! Get the pawnbroker. Whatever did happen with that Morley play, is it still missing? I have no doubt that the... Okay. So, in other words, a lot of money that I'm going to have to get here. Uh, but actually, as a question, how much are these places? Besides that one, a lot of them are more, a lot more reasonable for price. I'm going to quickly go there, see if I can actually uh, acquire a couple of those places, rent them out. You know you want to spend. I'll end up on the street otherwise. Home is where the heart is, as they say. It should also be where you have your best furnishings. Now, have you given any thought to redecorating? It cost me 222 gold to furnish to make it in good condition. Please, we're starving. We'll all starve to death if things don't change. I don't know if that condition slowly goes down or not. But it's okay. Try by a couple of these places. Where did you come from? Where did you come from? Why does this matter? I feel so weak. 
Okay, I won't be able to repair this one. Not yet, but close. Oh, hey, there's a super right here. Sabine's history of the Dweller tribe has dictated to Boulder, Secretary, Bodyguard, and Comrade. Very well. Boulder, I want you to write down everything I say. Now, these fellows at the Bright Wall Academy have asked for a full and proper history of our tribe to sit proudly on their learned shelves. This is important, you know, so <clears throat> write down every word as true as it's spoken. <clears throat> Honored scholars and professors and such. I am Sabine, elder dweller of... Well, I'll start again, Boulder, hang on. Honored scholars and professors and such. I am Sabine, elder of the dweller clan. I shall begin the tale of my people with... Um, it, wait, bold, wait, Boulder, wait, wait, let me light my pipe. Boulder. Have you got everything so far, Boulder? Good. Now. Well, what's that? Nice. Right. The history of our... Man, this, this thing's just too much. ...is the history of these mountains. For we were wanderers for many a year before we found a home. And we were not truly ourselves before the Valley of Mist Peak sang its welcome song. These ancient rocks, these noble trees, this honest soil, are as much a part of the dweller tribe as the children who play in the valley's snow, or the men and women who hunt in its forests. <coughs> got a, have you got enough ink in there, my lad? Huh? Have you got enough ink there, my lad? There must be facts. Sufficient to fill a book by now. Uh, I best hurry to the end. So, in conclusion, it's freezing, and it's tough, and it's beautiful. And what better way to describe the life of a dweller than that? These mountains are ours, and we'll fight with our lives to shelter them from whatever storms may come. But the most important thing about dwellers, you must know, the thing that defines our culture and our spirit more clearly than anything else is... What's another treasure oh, up here? bloody hell. My pipe's gone out. Oh, well, never mind. That's plenty for the academy to absorb and to study, I've no doubt. Let's have a drink to celebrate, shall we? Just make sure you've not missed a word, Boulder, and we can send it off in the morning. Here. Okay. Should get money from the, all these, so can I hope? But the most interesting thing has to be a rather odd object. I'm convinced must have some history. Wonderful. How kind you are. Here it is. Why? Why would the king want to make us suffer like this? You don't look like bright wall folk. Maybe you're more giving. If we ain't got it, Let's uh, it do this job again. Just so I can have enough money to repair that one place I own. Yep. It's pretty messed up if you think about it. Going to like this little encampment where all these people are like starving and basically just encouraging them. Holy crap, I got hundred and eleven dollars. Was that from rent?
I pressed the button, it just didn't register it. Feel free to look around. Sabine better sort this out, or we'll all be gone as soon. If I ever get hold of that Logan, I'll wring his neck. I've got you think to be something got a plan soon. to get us out of this mess. You found another dick spot? Okay. Dick. Yeah, like I said, I mean in between episodes. <clears throat> on my free time, I may just like do a bunch of loot hero stuff to like buy all the houses. Every place. I can use that income to buy more property and so on and so forth. It's definitely a oh, dive spot, which I did just get. Where's the stick with this? Where's the stick spot? Thank you, dog. Show me the fucking dick spot. Uh, this is one of the things that always bug me up with this game. Until the dog starts digging, you can't. curiosity if you're not too busy you might have a look in the sink I haven't found the silver key or the gnome so I do actually have to do that as well get that city done Eat lightning, fuckers. I like when their skeletons are all, like, shown because, like, the electricity, like, made their, uh, it just them into bones. And we go. Um, so I'm trying to think here. My wife gets off around that time. Means I can go to about that time. Okay. I have to get off slightly early. <coughs> so I have to cook dinner for my wife. I'm try to make sure I actually get off at the proper time.
That's all. I heard a wolf, but okay. still got about uh, forty more minutes or so. So we should be fine. I just have to actually pay attention, keep it in mind. You ever need money, you just see. Uh, just make sure they do his self prices or time. Uh, yeah. If it had been me, I'd have chopped that. Oh, pinch me, foul, vile fiend! You, good sir, you who live in such a tumultuous epoch, do you not thirst for the drama and emotion of a properly structured tragic play? Ah, you will find the legendary lost play. Splendid! Finally, tragedy and comedy will come together as they should. Yep. I hope I didn't actually just cancel the quest. I think it's what I just said. Turn back now, mortal one. No. Stay away. From this accursed only place. death and insanity await you. Anything else in here? I look like it. Yep. Don't pick it up. Picking it no. up. Really, I'm serious. Just can't leave well enough alone, can you? Bloody literary tourists, bane of my afterlife. Hmm. I'm now in a spiritual room. Mess everything up in a spiritual room. Listen, you. You're not getting my lost plate, you hear? It's rubbish. Worse than rubbish. I mean, what was I thinking mixing tragedy and comedy? I must have been off my rocker. It would seem, my dear fellow, you have been apprehended by the ghost of Philip Morley. That makes us both his captives. I am Ransom Locke. If the name seems familiar, it is because I was once a detective of some renown. And yet, here I am, ready to live out the rest of my days, trapped in a book. As far as I can deduce, we are currently in a scene from one of Morley's greatest romantic plays, the near tragedy of Oliver and Ethel. I believe if we are to escape, we must act out the scene. But performing is not one of my talents. If I am correct, putting on this costume should set things in motion.
<clears throat> Don't I look just dashing? Oh, Ethel, my love, my life, my son. If thou wouldst but give me one sign, one gesture that would speak of your affections, then might I think this grey existence worth living. Ah, uh, yes, a classic moment in the play. You are Ethel, the beautiful young daughter of a dung merchant. Show Oliver that you love him, and we may be able to leave this scene. My heart is yours, my love. Let the heavens and the seas, the toads and the eels sing the song in my heart, for she doth love me, and all is well. We shall meet again in the morrow, my little ferret, and elope into the sunset to live out our days in wondrous joy. A magnificent rendition. Truly, I applaud you. Hmm. I see you are gifted with remarkable literary cunning, but can you really comprehend the depths of my work? That we shall see. Ah, yes. This is undoubtedly a scene from one of Morley's earlier, funnier plays, Bloodbath at the Royal Court. And this must be your costume. The role of the fool is one filled with tragic depth. It will require a masterful performance. Masterful, huh? What fresh insolence is this? Out of my throne, you impertinent buffoon! Stand before your king, and do your jester's duty. Tis a troublesome time for this court, and my crown grows heavy. So make me laugh, or I shall have your head. Goochie goochie goo. <laughs> oh, stop! It's too funny! I believe I'm in the right mood now to meet with those foreign delegates. I think I shall only behead half of them. Yes. I have never seen a more convincing fool. There is hope for us yet. Mm, you handle my royal dramas as well as you handle my romances. But will your versatility extend to the more subtle domains of theatre, I wonder? Oh dear, unless I'm mistaken, this is a scene from Morley's notoriously violent historical epic, Titus the Mutilator, part two, which would mean this is the gladiatorial arena from Act Five, where Titus is finally slaughtered by savage warriors seeking revenge. A favorite scene of mine as a child, I must admit. And here is Titus's famous costume. I had some pajamas that looked just like it. Put it on and you will take on the greatest role of your life. Okay. Again, A has not stared me wrong so far. So. Let's see if A keeps steering me right. Titus! Thy pox-membered body shall pay for thy monstrous villainy. My son lies dead because of you. Now shall revenge be mine. Cold is your corpse and all the more flavorsome for it. Do try to make your demise convincing. Come on, Ed. Let's see if you're any good. You hurt my mate. I'll have you for that. Shock's not gonna stop me. Oh wow, you guys are actually pretty good. Oh, 
sighting them. More of my kin lie slain, and yet you live. You have breathed your last sulfur scented breath, Titus. And ooh. Hi guys. Oh, I was trying to roll, but tossed out of him. You filthy spell casting bastard. You may think okay. I was gonna say All something my men the was dead. dead. My vengeance denied. My world undone. I cannot stand to live one second more. A tremendous performance. That's just the ending I wanted to see when I was a young boy attending the theater every weekend. I wonder what scene will follow now. Oh, what scene could possibly follow such a masterful rendition of my work? And the way you improvised some of those roles, you brought new life to my words. I stand in awe. You have earned the prize no mortal has ever been honored with before. My missing play. I entrust it to you, for I know that you will do it justice. I call it the Ham Sandwich, a metaphorical title of course. Ah, you have retrieved our aged investigator. Happy day! Have you perchance found... This is no time for perchances, Lambert. The play, do you have it? Yeah, I have the play. We're safe, Lambert. Oh, the joy in my bosom knows no bounds. Thank you a million times. Thank you. <laughs> His head bosom, it's already working. Comedy and tragedy will at last join hands. Hark. Bear witness to the tragic futility that is man. Oh, how it doth sear my senses to see paradise and yet to be barred. That reminds me of a great joke. A guard, a monk, and a chicken walk into a bar. Unfortunately, the bartender had had a mild heart attack that morning, so none of them get served. And yet what purpose doth heartache serve when the infinite dark blanket that is death falls softly upon our still beating corpse? That reminds me of another one. A corpse walks into a bar and says, Can I have a lemonade? Certainly, replies the bartender. I've never seen a stiff drink. And so endeth our happy, sad play, which reminds us we are made of nothing but clay. There's time only for our fool to say... Great big giant bosoms! What the hell was that? Biggest load of old tosh I ever saw. It didn't even make sense. Worst play ever. Well done. You have gathered quite an impressive following in Brightwall. This should be more than enough to convince this little hamlet to send aid I'm to the I'm beginning dwellers. to understand why I believe Sam Phillips awaits you at the town gates to never express that this very particular sentiment. piece of work in his lifetime. Indeed. That's why I meant to go, but it's okay. I'm going to increase my magic and then leave again.
I still need about 80 more. Like a little less, but still. Show us what you've got. Can I, be I would like to. Welcome to the sanctuary. Travel. That's not the one I want to do. Quest list. Special delivery. Says target. There we go. I'm going to say I think it's going to make me pass this guy, which I hope doesn't actually start the quest. I think it's he's probably in his... Uh... Oh, it's right there. Yeah, it's going to make me start the quest. Esteemed citizens of Brightwall, today... We demonstrate the generous nature of our fair town. For too long have our mountain neighbors suffered in silence. And now we extend a helping hand. But this effort would not have been possible without the courage and determination of one man. The son of the old hero king. From this day, we shall know you as... The hero of Bright Wall. Before you leave, we ask of you one favor. As we What's pledge that? ourselves to you, so we hope you will pledge to return Bright Wall to its former glory and reopen the academy which your father founded. Sure. I will. Very, very good, very good. I expected nothing less from you. These volunteers shall carry the supplies to the dweller camp. They may have them with our blessing. I hope you will return one day, not just as our hero, but as our king. Okay. You'll be amazed by our low, low oh, he gave me 52. Cool. I can actually I use right. another one for my gun. We have everything you could possibly need to main I was almost going to kick that chicken. It's going to be known as a chicken kicker. People are still neutral towards me. Yep. Looking for something special, or will it just be the regular? Wonder if uh, what will actually have to happen to me, get me to actually not be just neutral. I wonder if it actually does need more. Um. Sure that I My need to actually interact soul. with people. You're an odd fish and no mistake. Possibly a trout or maybe even weirder, like a sea cucumber or something. Though technically they aren't fish. Anyway, you look like some kind of mutant fish thing. So there, okay. yours sincerely, Arthur. Well, thank you, Arthur. Oh, thank you. From my cousin, is it? She's always sending me odd things she finds around the house. Although this one does look quite intriguing. I shall have a closer look when I have the time.
Upon that wall, you'll find the contracts representing the promises that you've made to the people of Albion. Your contract with Samuel is there, for example. Okay. I was trying to see if I could do something. Uh, I can go you to the uh, special area. thing for those poor people oh. in the mountains. They will be overjoyed when you arrive with the aid that you required for them. Hmm. I'll just keep sticking with this one until... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, um trying to think of Conspire. I don't know how much money I have. Don't know how to easily see all that information. Some of the boys can be a bit heavy handed, but I can figure out uh wait. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I wanna get about eighty. When you uh the guild stuff before I go back to the actual area. And I didn't have my feet prepared on nothing. Hide those models. And look like a doll. Run. That Saker always seems to get away with it. You better not show oh. around here anymore. Where'd you find? Dig there? Okay. Hundred gold? Yeah, that should allow me to build a, uh, get another place. For sure. Do you know what it's like being stuck in the same job? No hope of advancement, day in, day out. Well, I do. And it's all hey, down to Nicole. my so-called boss. He's not getting any older, you see. Feels like he's going to go on forever. Never going to retire. I'll be his assistant until I die at this rate. Well, not anymore, I tell you. Not anymore. No. I'm going to be the chief academic of the university. And he's going to rot in hell. I just need someone to... To... Well, to move him on, help him towards the light. <laughs> if you get my drift, that kind of thing. He's up in Miss Peak Valley, excavating some old kingdom ruins or something. When you get up there and remove him for me, you know, permanently. Excellent. Once he's out of the way, I'll be the obvious choice to succeed him. Oh, and by the way, I, um, I forgot to mention, he's hired some bodyguards. You'll have to deal with them somehow, but I'm sure you're more than capable. Oh, that's not even her place. I was actually going to buy it because I thought it was her place, but it's not. Nope, oh, you found another dick spot. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, that's actually my wife's first and middle name. I think the last time I played this game, my character actually married her. Where is her house? Mankent. Another Mankent. Just want to make sure I was correct on that one. Uh, 
I believe Brian still needs some help with his gnomism. Hello. Yeah, if I ever figure out where she lives, I'll probably buy her house. Get out of there. Find tastier food anywhere else. You've earned another, uh, earned enough to open the thingy. I don't want to open it yet. Say My well goal is to, um, save it up so I can unlock the two last things I need to open up. Oh, you're in here. Okay. I didn't realize he was in here. Well, I would have dealt with this a little bit earlier. That's okay. Oh, I can actually search these now? Uh, why are you telling me to leave now? You told me to come in here. <sighs> you told me to go in there. Whatever. Oh, hello. Mmm, lovely, aren't they? Now, I've... Great, great! Now, this package, like I said, it's very special. I ordered it from a catalogue. It was very expensive, but then, this is Jonathan we're talking about. He deserves only the best. Now, according to the catalogue, the delivery coach travels through Misspeak Valley. Maybe they lost a wheel there or something. It, it's a good place to start looking around, anyway. Okay. Uh, before I take that job, welcome to the. I want to. Yeah, I got that one. Yeah, so it's this one. Sanctuary. Go and deal with this. Where are you bringing me? Have a look around. Somewhere this way, obviously. This way. Over here. Yeah, there you are. Oh, this is terrible. Right, you'll need this. Contrary to what most people think, chickens are very, very crafty. They will fall for any of that. Yep, yeah, chickens are very, very crafty. Any other business to attend to? Yeah, I need, I need to dress myself up as a chicken and go and collect chicken. You have several new suits. Those will make dressing easy. Your 
not dressed as a... Okay. Why did you climb in there and then get stuck? I don't know what that dog's doing. There, thank you. Oh, no chickens. You're doing great. We can't afford any mistakes now, or the entire operation will be compromised. Okay, there you go. You got three chickens. Yep, someone can come kick me. I'm a chicken, uh, chicken to be kicked. That's right, Tams. Fuck it up, fuck, fuck, fuck. Come on, little chickens. Follow me. I think after I've done this quest, I'll probably uh, call it. Well done. Don't stop now. The others will be starting to suspect. My dear Vernon, one of these days the chicken god is going to come down from a celestial coop in the sky and peck out your eyes. So there. Okay. Yours sincerely, Arthur. Dark stream. Where do I think the other chickens are? Here, chicken, 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 chicken. Oh, the dog has found them. Good. Means I can have to search for them. Yeah, bring these chickens back once these chickens are all um, situated and everything's good. I will. Call it for I will go buy good places and then call it for today. But I make 114 every once in a while. So that's actually really not bad. Because then I'm, basically the idea would be I would get... Um, If I need to buy a five hundred dollar place, I would only have to do it like week That's all four and that five times. Last. The town can rest easy. Oh, Bernard, you've got to lock them up again. This isn't right. They deserve to be free. You're always on about the chickens and their freedom. You know what I think? I think it was you let them out. You're right. I admit it. I couldn't live with myself any longer being complicit in this chicken oppression. But they might have destroyed the entire town. Possibly the world. They might have gone off to live peacefully on their own. They might have created great works of art or literature. We don't know. And we have no right to take away their fundamental liberties based on our own prejudices. Well, now it's clear taking away their liberties isn't enough. 
I have to assume you'll try to facilitate another escape. And that means the only choice is to kill them all. Oh, no, Bernard, no, don't. All right, keep them locked up. At least so we can talk about this. You, you infiltrated the chickens. You lived among them. You know them better than anyone. What's to be done? It's a simple matter of kill or be killed. No, Bernard. They're not like that. Well, always go with A. All right. We'll let them live. Let's go for 10 minutes. Only if you swear never to let them out again. All right. All right. We'll work this out. I hope I haven't made a terrible mistake. But if I killed them, I would just make them martyr. Oh, I just don't know about this. It's what's best, Bernard. It's the right thing to do. I wish I... You have done a wonderful thing for those poor people in the mountains. They will be overjoyed when you arrive. I hope everything is in order. Change my costume. A timeless classic. Yep. I go to my trophies real fast. You've acquired several trophies yeah. since you last popped in for a visit, and I've taken the liberty of mounting them. Good heavens, that could be taken the wrong way. Oh, the book, right, okay. Okay. Any other business? I would like to go here. What is here, I wonder? Oh, that's the, the central area. Okay. Fast travel here. Thought I could see if I can buy some stuff. Um, they'll actually do this. Our hero oh. returns, bringing good tidings <laughs> and supper. <laughs> Damn thing doesn't open. How do you open? Oh, well, I never thought you'd actually get it, tell you the truth. Boulder. We've been blessed, my friend. We have made an alliance that has already brought us life. One day, it will bring us much more. We require but one more offering before we fight at your side. Ah, Border. Promise to restore these mountains to their full glory and to protect our right to dwell in them. And promise you will bring nothing but the fiercest justice upon Logan's head. I promise. Then may we be carried into the castle by the dark storms of fury. We'll have to wait a little longer for that. It's still just us against a whole army. We need to recruit more people. Mm, I was afraid you'd come over all logical and sensible. Well, you have brought us a feast, and we are free to hunt again. We'll just keep on eating and drinking till you're good and ready. Right, Border? Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't be happier. Fine, I'll go through your stupid portal. You have made an important ally today. The revolution cannot hope to succeed without fighters such as Sabine and his people on your side. You have the beginnings of an army now. My sword better. Make my gun better. Okay. 
and then we go through. On this end, you can do a couple things there. I'm not too worried. Uh, tired of your appearance? Learn uh, get out of your clothes or with purple, orange, and pink. Become a better blacksmith and earn more money. Yeah, okay. We'll go with those. Earn more money with uh, the jobs. Makes a lot of sense. What was this one? Increase my... Oh, get Ice Storm. Cool. I know where I need to get my wife. She definitely wants to have Ice Storm. I can guarantee that. couldn't be prouder of what you've accomplished here, but there is still much for us to do, and I know just where to find our next allies. I'll meet you at the station in Mispeak when you're ready. The revolution okay. is just getting started. If you say so. We're going to break the record for number of customers. I have to be honest. That was cute. I'm trying to figure out how to like I want to just rent. Don't get me wrong. Oh, okay. So it's it's just like straight out. Okay, the normal. The like normal's fine, yeah. That's a store, that's a store, so I can't buy the stores. I cannot get that one. That one's extremely more expensive. Uh, the cheapest ones so far that I don't own. Oh, yeah, see, they do over time deteriorate. So that may be just like where I have to come back and eventually just like repair them a bit. There's even thought for Pink Peter, and he can change reality whenever he wants. I can't see what how much does it cost. Looking for something special? To repair? Oh yeah, it doesn't cost that much, yeah. Right. Cheers. Pleasure doing business with you. Thanks. Let's check out see how this works. Okay, so each uh, right now there's uh forty six. If I repair it, will they sell it forty six? Yeah. Okay. We are the Empress Chosen. Okay, so yeah, that's where I'm gonna end this off. There's a lot more places I want to get here and then just in general, but for now, this seems like a pretty good uh, stopping spot. Um, is there. Game management. Save and continue. Well, I do hope everyone enjoyed.
Uh, I did have a lot of fun with this. So, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed this, you can check me out on YouTube and on Twitch under the username The Relentless Undead. You can also join my community Discord. It's linked below. And I think that's everything. So, I'll see you guys next time.